I was literally drowning in dead, but I don't find about loving because of me. I, uh, I was a family support and I was looking just for someone else um, help. And I was like, oh, okay, this uh, team I love being sounds like a really nice support. And I was talking to this family and explaining what was everything that I found for them to come and and when I was thinking a night and I think it's guy like you should try it. <laughs> Maybe it's more for you than other families. And at then I think the family never came, but I came to <laughs> loving. Uh, the first time that I came, I was just kind of like looking the uh, same way, just thinking like, okay, I should know more so I can explain the family how it is. And then I came for like two or three classes and I said like, no way, they are taking away my credit cards. They are asking me for my finances. Like, I don't trust them. So I just said like, ah. Uh, no, thank you, really nice people. It's not for me. And I just left that year. And then next year, <laughs> I came and I actually finished the first part of the classes, the financial classes, and was was amazing. Uh, something different and difficult happened at home. Um, then the spring break came and, and make all the changes in my life and I had to get another extra job. I couldn't uh, keep up with the classes, but all the information that I get and all that I learned, it was there, it was there. So made me make some payments and think more about my finances. And it was good. That first year, I think, was great it started the change the the year the next year so i was like when are you guys classes are starting i i need to uh compromise myself i really need this and i said like no more celeste this is something that you really need and i i think i was telling me you cannot keep up with this, just expending money just here and there and, and over there. I was like, okay, no more. I have to commit to this. Tuesdays is my classes and I have to follow through this. And then when that's when I signed and then the pandemic situation came. <laughs> it was hard, but I'm still here and I'm going to graduate. <laughs> I have to be a good steward and God gave me the finances to enjoy with my family, not to stress me. And I have to do more than just expend money and live the life by the minute. I have to be, we have a God that creative with order. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest things I, I have learned through my journey. Uh, have order and decide like, okay, this is going to happen, this is the next step, this is the next step, and if I fail, okay, how can I fix it and keep moving forward. Yeah. At the beginning, to be really, really honest, um, give all everything to other people like here is my credit cards my check-ins everything because it, one thing is just tell them like i'm doing this and i'm doing great but when you said like okay here's everything and i have to trust god that anything else is happening is just <laughs> What I'm thinking for the week is the only money that I'm going to expand. And it's kind of like in some ways how God wants us to be. I trust everything on Him. He is going to keep up with us and just give us what we need yeah. because we don't know 
how to handle the the rest. <laughs> so that and the other hardest part is be honest. Mm. Okay, you can lie. You always can lie. But be honest. And it's kind of like God is looking at you. <laughs> he knows what you really do and what I do. That those are the things, the hardest thing. And I think God wants us to be honest. Trusting in him, like uh, sometimes I get a lot of money, especially with the pandemic and with all kind of like a lot, is a lot of money. Yeah, I don't know how to say the word, but it's I getting a lot of money. I can uh, tie, or I can just spend the money. I can enjoy the money right now, or I can um, pay all my debt and be free because the bible says uh, when you are owning someone you are the slave of that person so i was a slave for the credit cards and everything so just um when i get the money pray and set up my tithes on outside and then decide okay this is the amount that i have what can i do how can I invest or put my money to where so I can be free and better. Um, it's been like through the pandemic, it's been a lot of blessings and thanks God because we're in this country and, and we get a lot of money. So I just pay off. As, as soon as I get the money, the only money that I spent was the tithes and then pay, pay, pay. And it was really, really great. Um, the other things uh, is, okay, now can I start saving? Can I start putting something to enjoy? And just how the whole system that God wants us to be organized. He, he wants us to live a life to enjoy. <laughs> and other things is your job my job <laughs> a lot of blessings yeah so i i had my job for so long and i was looking for a different job but i said okay you gave me this job so i want you to give me a different job a better job one that i don't have to stress um one that i can pay better or and uh, have a little bit extra money. And I know again, wait and wait, I was kind of desperate, like more than a year looking for a different job. And I'm like, but God, you know, I kind of like deserve that, you know? I've been working so hard. I'm getting out of debt. Can you help me? I really, really want a house. Um, my kids need it. We are living in this tiny place with so many people. Can you give us this? And and he was like, no, no, wait. And just a waiting time that we can just go out and do whatever you want because you are, you, you can just get them the direction that you want and do whatever you want instead of wait for God. But I was waiting and I was like about to rent the place. And then my mentors are like, but you have to think about all this. It is worth enough to get the apartment just because you're in this desperation time. And I was like, yeah, sure. And then praying and praying again and say like, no, the money doesn't just feed the right way, so I have to wait, I have to wait. And then God gave me a house, and it was amazing, <laughs> another miracle. And because I get out of that, then I can get my house. And then I was um, making the money possible to make the payments and everything. 
and then God gave me this big blessing, getting me another better job, doing the same things. <laughs> and now I have extra money, more money to enjoy. And I, that does kind of like, thank you God, because you wait until this time, until I can think about my money and not just expend all my money and everything or get in debt again or something like that because now that I have kind of like the double I can think okay now my goal is to save this amount of money for the worst days we don't know what's going on with all the pandemic situation and everything so it's kind of like my mentor in my back that I know is God, <laughs> the Holy Spirit is there too. But saying like, okay, you have all this money, what you can do with this money. So being a good steward is, is, is just, I think the best. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come to Tim. It's one of the best investments for your time and it's worth enough to be free, to have that peace in mind, to have the freedom and says, I'm going to buy this and I have enough money. I don't have to ask anyone, but it is because God is in there too. And just the classes are not only about finances, it's about your whole life, how to administrate the money, but everything, and just learn that, and you can, you can learn that. And I cannot explain with words how good it feels to be free of the free of knowing what can happen, like, you don't know what can, what can happen tomorrow, but you know God is there, God can help you, God can provide you, but also knowing that you have um, backup money. <laughs> it's just, God tell us how to be with finance or financial, and, and he teaches so much than just money and the, the classes are amazing the time is never too much <laughs> and sometimes can be scary when you're talking about money and everything but don't be scary you will be great at the end is an, is so reward and i feel so grateful to be here to finish the classes, to achieve what I really wanted to be. And sometimes, like for me, what like the American dream was having a house, and I can say like, no. The, the American dream for me is be free and have that peace in mind that I have a lot or less I can um, do great administrating my money in a good way that I don't going to be back never. <laughs>